Nope, there's no camera there. Uh oh. Oh no, there it is. It's my face. One thing I'm missing is okay. I forgot what part was on screen. Okay, hi guys. <laughs> In actuality, I don't know. Welcome to night two of. There we go. Um, last random blue moon canyon. It says so right on my screen. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, <clears throat> obviously, I got my mic working. Um, I don't know what happened. I don't know what that was. Oh, Beck Starling just subscribed with Twitch Prime. <laughs> okay, sorry. That was very startling and loud. I'm not used to hearing it on this side. <laughs> Yay for microphone. There was literally nothing. I literally just restarted my computer again and that worked. So, you know. Ooh, okay. Loudish. Okay. <clears throat> the widget was very startling. I forget that it's there. Okay. Desktop audio should be low enough for you guys. Let me know if it ends up being a little too high. <laughs> Twitch jump scares. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. I'm gonna just... Okay, I messed with the ma with the touchpad sensitivity, so hopefully there will be less of the draggy stuff that was going on yesterday. I was all about fixing it today. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's us dig in, because I actually don't remember where we were. Talkie Tina. Well, I remember finding the dolls. Oh, okay, right. Haha! -ha. I have it somewhere. Okay. Calico. Oops, no, that's not what I wanted. That's nowhere near an A. A L. Nope, L. I. C. O. Brr. Silverado. I think that's across. There it is. S. I. L. B. D. R. Uh, A, D, O. Doesn't work diagonally, right? Ooh, probably should have figured that out before. Uh, Central City. R, A, O, T. I feel so much less dumb than I did yesterday. <laughs> Steam, really? The computer's been up for how long and now you're asking me to log in? What? All right, uh, where was I? Dodge City. D O D G no? Hmm. Perhaps. Oh, wait. There we go. That works better from the bottom up. D O G E C I T Y Fufta Virginia City I just two City and I'm assuming tombstone. Yes, okay. Because I can see it. <laughs> Alright, so up in my sense of mouse sensitivity helped a bit. Okay. Never spa. 
Never a spa. Where's my pen? <laughs> Guess I'm done. Strange. All that's left is a jumble of letters. Yeah. Where do we need letters, Nancy? Huh? R Z T B. Okay. I feel like there should be more I do over here. Like I want to be able to open that or something. Okay. Um. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Never. No, wait, ZT? Yeah. Not B. Yeah, of course. I don't know, man. I didn't do it. Okay. The animators did take a lot of very good um, risks in this game. They were like, yeah, let's show this off. Let's do this. But where? It's there, Nancy. No, it's there. I don't know. Bitch, I don't know. Um... Okay. waiting on this is what I'm waiting on the yeah because it's about the first two letters of their name or you know yeah oh I'll get to you um I'm I might redo some things from yesterday just because I don't remember what I did or did not do Caboose? Or no, the penultimate. Hmm, what is that called? What would you call this? <laughs> I am checking because I... What was this? Oh yeah. Yeah, because there's no way that this... Okay, see, that didn't... Y'all saw. I clicked a ton. Looks like whatever, to make man. this thing, whatever it is, I'm going to need a spyglass, a pickaxe, and a lamp. Citrine, that is amethyst, zircon, and those are all gemstones, I think. Thirsty nose. Okay. I got those now. Yoink. And Steven! Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. Well, sorry. I'm trying to get comfy here. While still being in... <laughs> Come on, pillows, move. I need an actual desk space. Okay. This is working fine. This is fine. I really like the high-intensity music behind me as I'm doing nothing. Oh, yeah. Naughty Tina's face. Okay, so Naughty Tina's gonna have a broken face. Human 
gonna write that down. That's not dumb. What happened? There it is. Which t Tina? What was her first? <laughs> Will there? Okay. Forgot what I was doing for half a second there. Ma Naughty Tina. Thank you, Bex, darling. I mean, I'd already come back here, but um, I appreciate you looking out for me. Naughty Tina. Probably could have just put NT. Don't know why I did that. Got a crack. Oh yeah, the animations in this game are really awesome. Like even if they're not necessarily great animation or they don't hold up, they're uh, I don't know. They really put a lot of ingenuity into it, and there was a lot of just actual thought going in. You know, they're like it's a point-and-click game, but let's give them something to look at. You know, which I appreciate greatly. Uh, which. Decorative ribbon. Eliza Sandberg ribbon. Oh yeah, I love the light moving past the windows. That is excellent, honestly. It, it's really, it's really nice. It, it, it feels, I don't know how to describe it. It feels like people were actually excited to make the game, you know? Which I think is lacking in a lot of games. Not necessarily Nancy Drew games, but like just games in general. It's like a, I don't know. Anyway, I'll stop talking about that. <laughs> What's going on? Did you find any fingerprints on the emergency brake handle? None that ready hell, thanks to Casey Jones up there. I told the old geezer not to touch anything, but he went and got his big, fat, oily paw prints Ugh. all over the place. If we didn't need him to drive the train, I'd charge him with obstruction of justice. No. Oh. Come on, there we go. Did you do anything else? Did you else? do anything else besides look for fingerprints? Question witnesses? I don't know. As a matter of fact, I found this. Probably fell out of the perp's pocket while he was yanking on the handle. Looks like some kind of thermometer. Yeah, like the kind a certain ghost hunter uses on that bogus show. And maybe he just you think John Gray dropped? threw the break? But why would he do that? Because they're thinking about axing his show, that's why. I checked with this buddy <laughs> of mine in LA. Gray's gotta come up with something real big real soon. Or he's toast. And you can't get much bigger than a train with a spooky past that's prone to strange accidents, now can you? Have you confronted John with your suspicions? All in due time. I always like to get my ducks in a row before I make an arrest. So at this point, the crime has gone from a missing, uh, missing hostess to a pulled train break? <laughs> You're going to arrest him? Hey, the train could have derailed. We're talking reckless endangerment, attempted assaults, maybe even attempted murder. John Gray wanted publicity. That's exactly what I'm going to give him. Um, do you think I could take a closer look at that cougar statue? What, that cigar clipper? Go ahead, let's take a look. <laughs> Just what we were talking about. In the chat. It was in the chat. I stone to build that thing in the diagram I found. What was that? Now, Tina will know I'm onto something. 
No, I can hear you when you talk in front of me. I just wanted to get a good look at it, that's all. What else can I do for you? All right. Even a big cool it. Anything for a fellow detective. Nah, that's more like it. What else can I do for you? Meh, meh, meh. He's just so disgruntled. And he has absolutely no right to be. Okay, nope, it's on the other. Go! Okay, it's not in this one. Okay, guess I'm talking at. Oh, wait. Plaid box. Teddy Everhart. Teddy Everhart. Is all we need to know is it's our boy's name. That's really. Everhart. Boy. <laughs> Sickly Sarah caught a germ so new it made one of her pretty green eyes turn blue. Okay. Thank you. Sickly Sarah. I like the art in this a little bit. It's very cute. That's all I can look at? Okay. Well, yeah, it's fine. What's up? What's up? Um Come on. There we go. Are you by any chance missing a small digital thermometer? Yeah, as a matter of fact I am. <laughs> when I went through the box I packed them in, that one over there, I came up one short. I was hoping to set up at least six in here so I could check for cold spots. How did you know I was missing one? Because Tino Balducci found it by the emergency brake handle when he was dusting it for fingerprints. And now he thinks you're the one who pulled it. That's ridiculous. I didn't have any reason to pull the emergency brake. Um... Is it true that your show is in danger of being canceled? Nancy Tasker. Newsflash. My show was canceled. Happened last night. But what nobody knows yet is that it's been picked up by a major TV network. <clears throat> Not only am I still on the air, but I'm sitting prettier than ever. Yeah, and I've got a Netflix questions? special coming out, so. Big stuff going on. So are you making any progress in here? Oh, yeah. Not only am I getting some real unusual EMRs, that's electromagnetic readings, but take a look at this. I know people, like, wouldn't just know that, but I feel very talked down, too. Uh, that's electromagnetic readings. Okay. <laughs> very talked down, too. You've got something? <gasps> I set up a camera and took some time-lapse photos. Sometimes I was in the room, sometimes I wasn't, but somewhere along the line, I managed to get a shot of Camille. Where? That, um, you don't mean that little that looks blob, like you? Yep, the chandelier like okay you're skeptical. swung that's cool just remember the key word when it comes to ghostly phenomena is energy that blob is the result of Camille's residual life force spirit if you will reacting with the chemicals in the photographic paper couldn't it just be a flaw in the photographic paper okay it could be that too <laughs> but it's not trust me or even just you know overexposed i mean come on now um were you in this room the whole time prior to that emergency break thing of course not i made a couple of trips to my compartment in the sleeping car <laughs> to get more equipment all right Hulu, but did i sure. get an overpowering urge to pull the emergency brake while i was there no mm. i saw a bunch of weird glowing lights outside the I window did. of the sleeping it's car. true i did really Actually, I'm not surprised. You're not? Oh, no. I'm... I've talked to... Charlena said Jake Hurley used to see them, too. Only he attributed them to his dead wife, Camille. They're probably some form of piezoelectricity. See, my guess is quartz crystals in the ground are being compressed as the train passes over them. 
and the resulting voltage, called piezoelectricity, okay. is manifesting itself as glowing lights, probably because of some quirk in the train shape or in the composition of the metals used in its construction. It was custom built, remember. Then why did it look like a woman? Riddle me this. So it's a natural phenomenon, not a ghostly one? Take it from me. Old Mother Nature was capable of some pretty scary stuff. I won't keep you any longer. Take care. Hey, who wants to piss him off? No, no, no. Nancy? No, no, no. Nancy? You can't tell Please me what don't. to do. No, no, no. Please don't. Please don't. Don't even think about it. But I've been thinking about it. Like a solid minute now. Oh, well, you guys are seeing it nice and big. Um, I'm seeing it pretty small. Um, <laughs> so I could just stretch it in my OBS window. Um, the game looks quite tiny to me. For example, reading this, not very fun. Ill-tempered Edna. Come on, Pen. This is not the time to stop working. The temper Edna. Something. She exists. I can't. I'm too tired. It, as one else said. So, yawning Alice is pretty obvious. Literally wrote obvs in my notes. Um. And then angrily tried to make herself heard, but all that came out was one two-part word. So she's going to be the one that says mama. Okay. Sorry. Separating them all for myself. <clears throat> Spooky noises. I'm trying to remember, did I do all of the... Let's find out. Oh, I probably should have taken the thing from the goat's eye. Hi, Charlena. How's it no going? Questions? No, I guess not, you bitch. I should get going. <laughs> all right, then. Hey, boys. Nancy, you missed it. What did I miss? Missed what? Argument of the century. Joe, he's exaggerating. Oh, come on. You heard him. They were ready to tear each other to shreds. Who? Charlena and Lori. All we heard was the tail end of it, and unfortunately, we really couldn't make out what they were saying. So, you don't know what they were arguing about? No. But whatever it was, both of them were absolutely out of their minds, livid. And it would probably be a good idea to find out why. Let me look into it. I'll talk to you later, okay? You know where to find us. Oh, yeah, us. sorry. I wasn't paying attention. I could have told you the program. Um, yeah, no, it's awesome. Super helpful program to help. Do I have to do that before Looks I do like this? Some sort of steam valve. No. Yay, I did do all. Nope, I did not. Uh oh. That oh, well. Look good. Oh, I can make it stop. That's good. Okay, so I still have to connect some pipes. Can't go outside until the train stops. <sighs> Nancy, you don't take enough risks in your life. Duh! Stop staring at me. Oh, the one without shoes is going to be Sadie Cro Sadie Cro Crawford.
I got everything out of there, right? Oh, right, there was like nothing in there, just this. Which means nothing to me! God damn it! You know what? I bet you I should probably, like, call Bess and George or something? They're probably waiting for me to call them and let. Come on. You've got it. Hello? Me again. Just checking to see whether you were able to find out the name of those Ooh. dancing shoes yet. Your wish is our command. But hang on to your hat. The name is a real oh, mouthful. Jesus. The shoes were made by Chaussette Chateauillon. C-H-A-U-S-S-E-T-T-E-S C-H-A-T-O-Y-A-N-T-E-S That's French for shimmering socks. Apparently, if you were into dancing in the 1870s, that was the company to get your shoes from. Chaussette Chateauillon. Got it. Thanks, guys. Thanks for letting us help. So? I discovered this cabinet full of old dolls in the caboose. Old dolls? Yeah, stay safe from the storm. Were they? They belonged to Jake's wife, Camille. Jake mentioned them in his letter to his niece. They could have been Jake's, you know. I mean, they never had a child of their own, right? So maybe after Camille died, he went a little bonkers. Oh, Bess. Hey, I'm just trying to think outside the box here, okay? Something it wouldn't hurt you to do from time to time, little Miss No Imagination. You know, maybe I'll just put this paintbrush down, walk out that door, and let you do this all by yourself. No! You've got to keep painting. If I don't get this done by tomorrow, I'll be grounded for a month. I was just kidding about your imagination. What? It's wonderful. You're wonderful. Very, very wonderful. That's more like it. Okay. Well, that's that's great. Um, come on, come on, mouse. Come on, you can do it. There we go. It appears that John Gray is our brake pulling saboteur. John I don't Gray? think that's true, sure? but you know. Balducci found something of John's at the scene of the crime. But John denied having a motive for throwing the brake. Well, if nothing else, it proves Balducci is a decent detective after all. <laughs> Catch you later. Remember, when in doubt, call. No. Can't make me. Okay, so who do I have? So, okay. So far I have... N.T. Uh... Yanni Alice. Sorry, sectioning everything off. Okay. Right? Uh, oh, wait, is this referring to the sampler? By any chance? I could be, I'm probably totally off base. Doink! That is mine now. Thank you, Mr. Goat! Or. Yeah. Oh, where was I going? Uh oh. Shit. Um. Oh, sampler. Shit, I went the wrong way. I don't know. This must be how Lori disappeared. Oh. Nifty. I really don't know why I came back here for the sampler. I don't know what's wrong with me. No, don't look at the hole where the eye used to be. Yeah, it's probably not based on the sampler, but it cannot hurt to try, can it? I mean, I guess it could. Anything's possible. Okay, so... No, 
that doesn't work. Oh, wait! Oh! Oh, but that is helpful. Awful Ursula. Redhead. Oh, and... Oh, we already knew that. <laughs> I don't think I have anything to talk to him about, but I might as well try. Right, right. What's going on? Thanks for your help. Click on it. Click on it, you little Thanks bastard. For your help. There we go. Anything for a fellow detective. Uh, anything. Okay. I will not apologize for calling my computer names. According to that diagram I found, those six gemstones ah! are supposed to go in these six holders. But I have no idea which one goes where. Nor do I, Nancy. Nor do I. woman with the ribbon. And let's see what's next to her is NT, which is Naughty Tina, who is the mama one. That's clearly yelling out. Mama. All right, there you are. Yawning Alice. T O. Do I have a T O? No. I don't have a C H. I don't have an A U. A U. <clears throat> S S would be six Sarah, who has. One blue eye and one green. Which one has one? There you are. Oh, um. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, the, the crack in her head is... Oh, wait, that's Naughty Tina. Who was I thinking of for the other one? Ill-tempered Edna, that's what I was thinking for the other one. Okay, but um, this is Naughty Tina. My be y'all. Ill-tempered Edna. I don't think that's what she's called. <laughs> what? No, I was trying to, um... I was trying to find out the, uh, uh, code for the grate so that I can do the last, um, steam thing that I haven't done. Um... Two boys, but I have to assume. No, I don't. I don't have to assume shit. Okay. Uh, 
that all I have? Oh, wait! I've seen her hair. Oh no, not hers. Her hair. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it was... I didn't write it down, of course. Did I? Nope. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you know what? They don't stay where I put them, do they? They do not! I don't know why I was bothering. <sighs> Edna the Terrible, thank you, sister. I, I just glommed onto the wrong... Oops. I'm Toby. Um. No, not ill-tempered Edna. If nothing else, yeah, it's it's just it described the t yeah <sighs> I don't remember where I found the, <clears throat> the lock of hair was it in this drawer yes it was Thomasina O'Neill There, right next to yawning Alice. <laughs> Camille was an odd lady, yeah. Um, okay, so there have got to be other references to them because I've only got one, two, three, four. Eight, nine out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I'm missing two. So that should be easy enough. I'm gonna look in that glass cupboard. I don't know why I'm fixated on it, but I am. She was. She's definitely supposed to have been pretty young. Um. I mean, she cries when he breaks one of her dolls, so it might be... She was definitely younger than him, because he was, like, in his mid-30s and went, Huh, I take a wife! And I'm pretty sure she was, like, a teenager. Okay. Okay, so A U Awful Ursula Um S S is sickly Sarah who has two colored eyes. Um E T would be another terrible. No. Um the ribbon she goes at like the end, right? Ma, ma. Okay. Making sure. So, okay, after Edna the Terrible, we have TE, which is going to be Toby. Echo heart or whatever. Um, but that could be either one of the boys, so. We'll just leave it at him. Um, and then. Oh, wait. I just got them totally confused. So let's just have it be him. Have that be. Okay, anyway. <laughs> SC is. 
Sadie Crawford or something like that. She has no f shoes on. Uh, H A. Do I have an H A? I don't. Let's assume it's the boy. I don't know why, but let's do it. Um. T O is. Oh, wait, I messed something up somewhere in here. <laughs> Hagar Anderson, thank you. Which I would assume means that. Okay, let me make sure. Um, oh, I never did anything with her. I don't. So sorry. Breeding. A U S S E. Okay, I did get them mixed up. Oh, E T T E S C. I mean, yeah, S C H A. T O Yawning. Okay, so there we go. Yawning Alice and Naughty Tina. And Yes, who has the ribbon? Okay, that should I have the boys mixed up? Okay, that makes sense. I mean, I don't know why I should know, but I got coins and a collage. Pretty. I can't look in that box. Let me look in the box. I don't understand. So she was into scrapbooking. I'm. Okay, so I've got those, which I think means I can unlock the square duck, but I don't remember what those uh, count for, so I'm going to have to go look at the sampler again. What? No, Ariana, what are you doing? Four. Duck is one. So square is four, so, and I have to have it with three slugs, right? I think. I could just be pulling this out of my ass. Um, to one using four. <laughs> um. Oh, 
Oh, what? I have to do them in one from the other. Okay, okay. Right? This means I gotta go. They have to lead into the other. Okay. Um, in which case. Why did you think that would be? Um, eight. This one minus three. And then again. Fudge. Okay, I can do this. Oh, wait. Okay. Minus seven? Nope. What are you doing, Ariana? <laughs> I don't want to have to remove them. Okay. <laughs> I got this. I can do it. Basic maths. Okay, I got it. No, no, I don't. I don't got it. That's a lie. It's a heinous, heinous lie. Minus three. Okay. With any luck, I, just I could have sworn I did that. Maybe I just did it in my brain. With any luck. doesn't have good balance. Nope. We're not pulling the brick again. That was night one funness. I can't talk, boys! I gotta go! Yeah! James Thurston. I hereby agree to pay James Thurston's sum of nine dollars a week plus room and board in return for his services as an engineer in my train. Hmm. That's very interesting. It is. Genuinely. That hey, sounded... How's it going? <laughs> um... Let's go with that I one first. I think I know I feel the like name of Jake Hurley's engineer. James Thurston. Great. What else do you know about him? Well, nothing. Good. Good. Yeah, <laughs> finding out more about him will give us something to do. We'll look into it. <laughs> Joe's like, you're assigning me homework. Come on. Come on, mouse. Let's try and see what else there is. Tino found one of John Gray's thermometers by the emergency brake handle and is getting ready to throw the book at him. John Gray threw the emergency brake? Why would he do that? Um. That was my first question. Which makes me wonder if maybe Tino's the one who's up to something. I still say there's less to all this than meets the eye, if you get my drift. I get your drift, Joe. I have lived with your drift for years. I am saddled with your drift. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Go! I found a diagram for some kind of contraption that Jake designed, but to operate it, you need his pickaxe and some kind of lamp or lantern, which it looks like he gave to somebody named Buell. Buell? Joe, show her. Show her what? That old picture we found. Uh, okay. <laughs> we found this on the bookshelf. See? Buell supplies and pawn shop. That's got to be the same Buell Jake gave his axe and lantern to. Yeah, a hundred years ago. And the guy was a pawnbroker, Frank. The stuff's probably long gone. Or maybe it's still somewhere in Copper Gorge. Well, that's where we're headed. So let's just hope for the best. <laughs> right. Talk, Talk to you later. later. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. Now what 
do we do? Oh, I'm going to ask her about the argument. What I haven't talked to Lori, Lori at all. What were arguing about earlier today? Lori and I? We weren't arguing. We were simply discussing a topic about which both of us are passionate, that's all. Were you discussing her wanting to be a romance novelist? No. And even if we were, that's really none of your business. I know that sounds harsh, but really, Nancy, eavesdropping is so tacky. Actually, it was Frank and Joe Hardy who overheard you. They said I should talk to you before they gave me all the gory details, but since you obviously don't want to tell me your side of the story, I'll just have to get the script Oh, from Nancy, you no, sneak. No, you don't have to do that. A storyline that Lori submitted to me found its way into my last book, despite <laughs> the fact that she never received compensation for it. She's reading the book now, and when she got to that part, she freaked. You, you stole, stole one of her ideas? ideas? She had no business sending me unsolicited material. But technically, yes. Now legally she can't prove it. I don't know, actually. And I'm certainly not I guess about I should to try. admit anything. And it's not as if she needs I don't think money. I've found the poem, have but I? That's what we were Maybe it's in that book. About. For what it's worth, I'm going to talk to this producer I know to see if he'll cast Lori in his next movie. It'll help ease my conscience, and who knows? She could wind up being a star. I mean, she is blonde. What a weird statement. Thank you, ma'am. I should get going. All right, then. Ah, there we go. Oh, I was gonna... I'm gonna do it anyway. I like crossing between the trains. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Okay, I can get it. I just sort of assumed I'd wait till people weren't there, but, um, no. Good thinking. Um, I think so was Bexy. Bex darling. Bex darling, yes. Okay. I don't know what I'm looking for. I have to have come across something, right? Or is this in, um... Like the graveyard or something. I don't know, man. Totally missing something. So I'm just gonna keep talking to everybody till I figure it out. Hey, glad you stopped in. You gotta listen to this. What have you got? What have you got? I put this digital recorder in the corner where Camille He's showed got up so in the picture stuff going and on. turned it on so it would just keep recording. Now, when you play it back at normal volume, all you hear is background noise. <laughs> Rub some dead lady tune. Yeah, but when uh, you turn the volume way up and run the signal through a filter or two... Something else. Hear that? I hear something. It kind of sounds like a woman singing. Not just any woman. Camille. Camille. Sure. So be careful what you say in here. She's listening. No, she's singing. That doesn't mean she's listening. I'll let you get back to work. Goodbye. So then what do I got to do? Here or something? Yeah. No? Fuck. Didn't hear for some reason. I could have sworn I've seen the poem. It's probably in my inventory. Is it in the Ruth letter? She has four words for you. Oh. And translated into numbers to use in the combination. So yes, that is where that is. Not that I didn't believe you guys, just that there we go. Confirmation. Um No. Oops, maybe it's another thing in my inventory though? No. That's all I have. Well, I got a pencil. I don't remember where I got a pencil from. Probably a drawer. Do, do, 
Oh my gosh. That's how I was supposed to see that. <laughs> I forgot about that completely. I'm so dumb. Okay, that's fine. Uncle Babu. Okay. That looks just like the stuff John Gray has his thermometers packed in. What? What's going on? You're the one who pulled that emergency brake, aren't you? <laughs> you did Me? it, didn't you? <laughs> what are you joking? No. Care to explain how packing material from the box those thermometers were in wound up on the floor what? over there? <laughs> You're just some teenage nobody. I don't have to listen to this. You're right, you don't. Neither do the other passengers. <laughs> but unless you give me a good reason not to, to Abba. I think I'll tell them anyway. Look, maybe I was a little hasty pointing a finger at the ghost guy like that. Maybe all those lies people have been spreading are starting to get to me. Maybe I thought it would help if I got a little positive press by solving a crime aboard a haunted train. Maybe I apologize. And, uh, maybe you can see fit not to let any of this go beyond this room? Well, no harm done. I guess yes. we're really the only right. ones who care about this anyway. Well, what else can I do for you? Um, you've been a big help. You've been a big help. Not a problem. Sorry, they were doing for those who are not in the chat. They were doing freaking Oh, I got it. Jesus fuck. Um, they're doing water I mean fuck. They were doing a uh, ABBA line in um in the chat. Hence Waterloo being in my head. You monsters. Uh, is it in here? Maybe it's in here. Maybe it's a piece of paper in here somewhere that I miss. I overlooked. No, come on, come on. Give me more more paper than just that, because I know what's on that. Oh, maybe this is where I found the pencil. No. I found something in here, though. Mm. Or maybe it was on the blueprints. Maybe, maybe it was on the blueprints. No, of course not. <laughs> True confession time. I definitely have uh, an ABBA station on my Pandora. <laughs> I've been listening to recently, so... I don't know. Guys, don't judge people for liking ABBA. Nobody in the chat's doing it, but I'm warning the rest of you. Oh my god, calm down, music! Um, well, I'm looking for my next plot device, um, but I'm also yes? keeping an eye out for, um, the poem that tells me where to put the... I could have sworn I've come across it. I hear that Tino and me used to put the rocks. be an item. How did you know that? <laughs> I'm, I'm a, a good, good detective. detective, remember? We went out a couple of times, yeah. As for why we stopped going out, you'd have to ask him. I hate you. Guess I better get to work. Keep me posted. Is there anything in here I haven't looked at, maybe? <laughs> Bex Darling and Reese are painting for the chat. <laughs> if you guys are going to continue, <laughs> I'm going to have to ask you to leave. <laughs> Uh, um, shice. Mm -mm. Let me 
did he really just send me in there for a couple of fucking slugs? Like, really? I have to look at a picture. It was her dream board. She was like, yeah, I want friends and to walk around with my husband. <laughs> the poem spoke it in the diner? Then what do I gotta do to make this train stop? What I'm supposed to be doing. Talk to everybody. I don't have enough uh, slugs for the next grouping, so I can't do that. another train. That was intense. Guys. Hey, how's it going? Were you able to find anything? I left you for like five minutes. Engineer? Were you able to that figure this out? Thurston guy? Good news and bad news. The good news is he had a wife in Copper Gorge, so he may have had children. The bad news is our internet service provider stopped providing before we could use our cell phones to find out anything else. That's okay. We can do more checking when we get to Copper Gorge. Right. To Copper Gorge! Chuggle, 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 chuggle. Wait, where did we leave from? Guys, where, where did we get on the train? Gosh, I love this so much. Uh, okay, let's go to the museum. Hey there, welcome to Buell's old time taffy house. Come on over here. Welcome, stranger. <laughs> you by any chance get here on that private train what's parked out yonder? As a matter of fact, yes I did. There's a rumor going around that Charlena Purcell's on board. As a matter of fact, yes it is. Hot dang if that don't beat all. I've read every single book that gal's ever written. Best writer whatever it is. Did she get off the train too? I don't oh. think so. She's pretty busy. Charlena Purcell herself right here in Copper Gorge. Breathing the same air as me. Hot dang. Well, welcome little missy. Go on in and take a gander at what life was like during the heyday of Copper Gorge whilst you sample some of our delicious homemade saltwater taffy. I'm sorry, I was not prepared. I forgot completely about exactly how this... Ooh. <clears throat> sample? As in free sample? Some daffy on a stick will cost you two tokens. Which you can get by winning both those games over there. Look at her eyes go! <laughs> um, sorry. Uh, How much does it cost to play them? Well, ain't you the little penny pincher. I mean, I'd like to know. Is they're free. Unless you go messing with the artifacts I got in here. Do that and you'll be head first in the nearest snowdrift before you know what hit you. Are you Buell? Do I sound like a buell to you? <laughs> Sorry, the costume kind of, you know, threw me off. Oh, right. <laughs> Sometimes I forget I'm wearing this. Then why thing. did you say sound he instead of great look? Great uncle. This building used to be his general store. During the glory days back in the 1880s, he commenced a pawnbroker. So the miners Copper Gorge was crawling with back then could raise some cash to pay for grubbing tools and such. 
But pretty soon, the mining boom went bust. Oh, me. And there was Uncle Butte, oh. stuck with a whole store full of junk. Only it wasn't junk to him. Debris from lost lives and broken Debris. Dreams, what he called it. Couldn't bring himself to get rid of. So, he passed it on to his kin. My great granddaddy is the one who come up with the idea of turning the place into a tourist attraction. <laughs> Do you by any chance have any of Jake Hurley's things in here? Jake who? Hurley. He was a miner. I think he may have left a lamp and a pickaxe with your great great uncle. Never heard of him. Of course, that don't mean his stuff's not here. Just means you're just gonna have to look around and see for yourself. But remember, Susie Q, don't touch. Susie Q? My name's Nancy. Nancy. Pleasure talking to you. Be right here if you got any questions. A $30 sweatshirt. I don't think so. What do I have to play? What the fuck is Gold Rush? Oh! Okay. No, I keep losing. Stop going to the snake. Okay, they've stopped. <laughs> no! No, bad yeti! <laughs> Come on. You! That's right! Suck it, you yeti mother... Oh, hey, cool. Mm, I'm gonna try me some taffy. Taffy Taffy, that's why I'm here. Oh. Looks like to get some taffy on a stick, I'm going to need two different tokens. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my god, okay, ready for this, guys? Let's do this. I don't remember who I'm supposed to be cheering for. Is that the one I chose? And I lose. No, of course not. That's the one I thought about choosing. <laughs> I think I chose five the first time too. No, come on, blue horsey! What is the point of this? Loser, how dare you? So rude to the poor horsey, man. <laughs> now five's gonna win. <laughs> because that is how the life of Ariana works. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, do it, do it, do it! You! I win. I just realized she's gonna use the taffy for some other purpose other than eating taffy. <laughs> this machine only takes tokens. Oops, that's not what I meant. Please, come on. Okay, you know what? That actually scared me just now because I almost clicked a bunch of different things. <laughs> Bad clicker. Do do. Do, 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 do. Can't get anything nope. without a token. I know that Nancy middle name Drew. Actually, Nancy doesn't have a middle name. Funny story. I think sometimes they give her the initial of like S or something. But anyway, point is, Nancy doesn't have a middle name. You now know that. That's in your brain. There's like one one-off story wherein she has a 
some kind of middle name, but it was never substantiated. It's like she may have made it up. I don't remember. <clears throat> Point is, Nancy don't got no middle name. You still here? Great talking to you. You have great customer great service. Be right here if you got yeah. any questions. Oh, there's that customer service. Um I want to look at that stuff, but she won't let me. Why won't she let me? Guys, why won't she let me? I can't look at nothing. Something tells me I better not go in there without permission. Fine, you wuss. No, no, no. I was going to try and look at the trunk. This looks just like the insignia I saw on the train. I'll bet this was Jake's trunk. Um, I'm going to ask Fatima. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try to touch you it. You ain't touching anything over there, are you, missy? Oops. I'd better go ask permission before I mess with this. Before I mess with this. What? What are you fucking doing, Nancy? You still here? Do you, you know, know what? What's in that old trunk over I'm about there? to leave. Why? You ain't been fooling with it, have you? Not oh, yet. No, of course not. No, I just thought it might contain the lamp and pickaxe that I asked you about before. Happy on the stick, well, even if a thing. it does, you can forget about them, cause it's locked. None of my kin have ever been able to figure out how to open it. Not even my cousin Alvin. And he went to junior college. Alright, fucking elitist game. <clears throat> Would it be okay if I tried to open it? Well, now, I certainly ain't gonna let you break it open if that's what you're getting at. Oh, no, I would never use force, believe me. But in order to try to get it open, I would have to, you know, touch it. Nope, sorry, not gonna happen, little missy. Unless. Unless? Mm -hmm. Tell you what, you get Charlene and Purcell to come in here so as I can shake her hand, and I'll let you fiddle with that trunk till the cows come home. You know what? I've got a better idea. Now, what could be better than me coming face to face with the lady who writes the finest literature this here country's ever seen? Well, that's just it. If you were to just meet her, you'd have nothing to show for it. Afterwards, she'd go her way and you go yours, and that would be it. But if you were to, say, get her autograph, well, then you'd have something to hang on the wall and brag about. Okay. Make it so I can meet her and get her autograph. Oh, but the thing is, she's on a deadline, and if you take her away from her writing, she may fall behind. And if she falls behind, her publisher may pull the plug. And if her publisher pulls the plug, it could ruin her career. Do you really want to risk ruining? I'm sorry, I'm entranced by watching all the Good movements. Heavens, of course not. All right, you just get me Charlene's autograph. She just moves and you so much. Date. Just make sure she uses my name. I want it real personal, like. You bet. And your name is Fatima, with an F. None of that weirdo pH stuff. Okay, Fatima, I'll be right back. Nancy, we've already gone over this. You don't have a middle name. You don't get to judge other people's first names. <laughs> yeah, you know. Well, I'm out here. Yes. You startled me. You, you knocked on the here? door. What were you I fucking see. expecting? Are you looking for someone? Uh, yes, Camille Hurley. She died back in the 1800s. Ah, Camille. Beautiful crypts, wonderful view, good drainage. Whoever buried her must have loved her very much. May I go inside it? You may, but unfortunately you can't. Why not? I accidentally dropped the key down the Haha, <laughs> that's fine. I've got a trick I do where you I have something piece. sticky at the end of a you stick. Keep it. I'm having another one made. But if you do go into the crypt, just remember... You won't be alone. I'm gonna need you to calm down, sir. Well, there's the key. Yeah. I need something long and sticky. <laughs> Waste a perfectly good gotcha. taffy. At least I assume it's good taffy. Hello. Slug! I found a slug. Hmm. 
This indentation looks familiar. Okay. Oh, copper. See you, I think. Oh, I feel so stupid right now. Silver, gold. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. See you. See you See later. See you. <clears throat> yeah, I, th that's what I said. I questioned it, but I'm going with it. I'm just writing it down. Green, red, purple, yellow. Orange, blue. <sighs> I don't know why I'm trying to see Camille, but you know, apparently I'm trying to see Camille's dead fucking body. <clears throat> Green. Red. Purple. Yellow. Orange. <laughs> Blue. Uh -huh. Cool. Bomb. Bomb bomb diddles. In the letter he wrote to his niece, Jake said she should go to Camille's grave and let Camille's goodness rub off on her. Rub as in rubbing, maybe? If what? there's a hidden Arr, message here, I'll never find it at this rate. I'll never find it at this rate. Jesus, giving up. So quickly. Okay, I wasn't sure if there was going to be more on the floor. I like finding stuff on the floor. Alright. Back to the train. Grave robbing. Grave robbing. Um, are the boys not there anymore? Is that why it won't let me do anything? Yep, the boys aren't there. This is so scary. So scary. Hey, Charlene. More questions? I met a huge fan. I met fan. a huge fan of yours in town who'd really, really like your autograph. An autographed picture would be even better. Imagine that. Me having fans way out here in the boonies. Well, I'm sure I have a picture around here somewhere. But <coughs> what I don't have is a pen. Usually I just ask my assistant for one. I have a pencil here somewhere. A pencil won't do, dear. It has to be ink. See if you can borrow a pen from somebody. You know what, bitch? You and your high ponytail. Oh! It's so different during the day. And it's not moving, and it's so weird. And I love it. Guys, I love this game. I am having a great time playing this game. <laughs> um, let's see. Sir, sir, do you have a pen? What's up? I think I have to go borrow a pen from Tino, but I, I would rather really it be really from you. <laughs> Could I borrow one from you? Sorry. I'll let you get back Sorry. To I'm not blunting out any pens right now. I've seen you walking around taking people's shit. You do not get to borrow a pen from me. I would never see it again. Hey, Tino. You haven't witnessed me stealing on? shit. How come you told me you and Lori never went out, and she told me you did? Don't you ever stop asking questions? Mm. No. I'm a detective. You know how it is. <sighs> I dumped her, okay? I'm not proud of what I did. I'm not happy about what I did. But it's done. It's over. Now let's drop it. If you didn't want to dump her, why did you? You are incredibly irritating, you know that? Yes. I dumped her because 
both Nancy because and myself. Because people said going out with her would make me look bad. Said she was a joke. That no one took her seriously. Said if I started hanging with her, no one would take me seriously. No one takes you seriously anyways! How dare you break this young heiress's heart? <laughs> but you didn't stop caring. No. Now take a powder. I don't feel like talking anymore. Wait. No. Shit. Still don't feel like talking. Okay. Well. Maybe Lori has a pen. <laughs> of course, they make me run to the complete opposite end of the train. I don't know why you guys are implying that Nancy has done all these horrible things. Got like dust or something in my yes? eye. Would you happen to have a pen? Would I you could happen borrow? to have a pen I could borrow? You're an a aspiring pen? writer. A pen. Do I have a pen? Nope, right not. Sorry. All right, I we'll gotta go back to the little later. bitch man. Keep me posted. <sighs> Because I, I haven't seen any in any drawers. I don't know about you guys. I also don't have any paper. Wait. <laughs> I forgot what I was doing. Can't stay mad at a fellow detective. Great, give what me your you pen. Mean? Do you by any chance have a pen I could borrow? Why I'm surprised at you. Don't you know that every detective should carry a pen? <laughs> Actually, I carry a pencil. Well, as it happens, I got lots of pens. <clears throat> Tell you what, if you can because Nancy's ready to correct her mistakes, Tino just did, solidifies his stupidity. It shouldn't be that hard, seeing as how smart you are. I'll give you a pen. <clears throat> what do you say? Sounds, Sounds good. good to me. Okay. The object of the game is to get rid of as many lizards as you can by jumping them with other lizards until you can't jump anymore. Last time I played, I wound up with just five lizards. If you can wind up with only four, the pen's yours. I feel like I'm overanalyzing this and I should really just be Ariana and just keep clicking. Because that usually goes well for me. The Ariana click method. Now I'm gonna wind up with a ton. Ah, oh, shice. I'm at least going to have those three at the bottom because I've totally... Yeah, I'm not doing it this round. That's fine. I haven't played this in a while. <laughs> Shut. not so smart after all. Try again. I'm gonna sure. need you to shut your fucking trap. How is that good for this fucking game?
doing it, am I? <laughs> You lost again. One more time. Shut your face. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. I don't think Reese and I had. I. I... It's the one where we kind of take turns. I think Reese and me. Um. For the most part, it ends up being an Ariana puzzle. Everybody else had designated puzzles, right? <laughs> We're not weird. I did it! I won! Talk about luck. <laughs> Here's your pen. <laughs> Why does this seem so high stakes? Because what else can I if do you get you? it wrong, then you have a big old dum dum saying, Oh, you're not so smart, are you? It's like, hmm. I don't know why I did it. Like, he doesn't have teeth. Jesus Christ. Okay. Maybe that cup of coffee was a bad idea. <laughs> It's been great talking to you. <laughs> Helping people is what I'm all about. All right, that's cool, buddy. You do you. Okay, got that pen, guys. I remember why I was doing this. <laughs> totally. Where do we have paper? Does Charlie even give me paper? I think she gives me paper. Have you found a pen so I can autograph that picture? Bitch, yes. I got it from Tino. You can keep it. If you could have it say <laughs> You can keep it. It's not mine Tima. to give, but you That'd know. Great. I mean, I guess he did say, but you know. There you go. Anything else? I should get going. All Where right. Where do I get then. my paper from? I need paper. All right, let's go give it to Fatima. Well, I'm sure that Charlena goes to uh, book signings very often, like often. Hey Nancy. No, no, stalkers. Oh, there their walking are. cycle looks pretty good. You. Yeah, you won't believe the lucky break we caught. Lucky break? Hey, that was the result of good old fashioned I mean. detective work. It was the result of your insisting we stop for a cheeseburger. Guys, what's going on? Well, it turns out even that mind a grandchild that their hair looks of Jake's like engineer still lives around here. What's more, he hangs out at the local diner. Comes in every day. Apparently, he's pretty ancient. Mmm. Wax paper. Thank you. You're right. I mean, I could have just, you know, stumbled upon this later when I do the thing. But, you know, that's fine. Go ahead. Just tell me. Spoilers. 
Um... Ah, and you found that out when you stopped there so Joe could get a hamburger. Cheeseburger. The thing is, the owner of the diner wouldn't agree to point Jeez. the guy out unless one of us fills in for a short order cook. He's got to go <clears> home <throat> and wait for the cable guy or something. And since Joe here barely knows how to boil water, guess who got the job? <laughs> Way to go, Joe. Hey, I can boil water. <laughs> it's just that when it's got things floating in it, I get confused. Speaking of confused, get this. <laughs> <laughs> Balducci convinced Lori that Jake's mine is somewhere right here in Copper Gorge, so he, Lori, and John Gray are hiking up the mountain out there even as we speak. Oh. That bumblebrain's gonna find anything. Sounds like now might be a good time to do some serious poking around on the train. Good thought. Hey, I better get going. Wish me luck. I'll go with you. You can make me a cheeseburger. Oh. Got that autograph? Got something better. An autographed picture. Hot! Hey, <laughs> she spelled my name right and everything. Go ahead, little missy. Have a go with that truck. She's so Whatever's excited. It, it's all yours. I have I have so many like head cannons for uh, Fatima. Oh, I don't know how. I don't know what it's gonna be. Uh. <laughs> Hmm. Well, fuck. <laughs> Lead is the key. Right. Okay. Um. What? Where we go? What just happened? to go back to Camille's grave. Okay. She hung up the picture. Yeah, that's what I figured, but, um... Okay, thank you for confirmation. I appreciate it. I I need to stop doubting myself about these things. <laughs> this is a good exercise in um trusting myself. Uh well, I'm at it. I feel like I should add the ones that I don't know. So let's P B the other one was C and then I've got purple, yellow. Green, red, orange. Oop. Okay, I did them. Or, um. I don't think I used them, but it's good to have them, right? This, this music is not appropriate. That is how I remember it too, sister. The PB plumbers work blood. Yeah, that's that is actually how I remembered it. But then I was like, I think I'm being stupid, you know, as I'm off to do.
I think that it is really cute the way those things light up when you, uh... Okay, so. That is red. Green. Yellow, purple. <gasps> it's well, the lantern it's lamp or lamp. Or whatever. <gasps> Another coin could come in handy. You could come where's in his pickaxe? I don't know, Nancy. I don't know. Welcome back. Have you by any chance ever come across a pickaxe that had the initials J.H. carved into it? Wow. Because it used to belong to Jake Hurley, and I really, really need it. <laughs> I thought it would be in that old trunk, but it wasn't. You got that trunk open? Wait till I tell Cousin Alvin. He thinks he's so smart. As for that pickaxe, so happens I got it upstairs in my kitchen. Use it to open the coconuts Aunt Lucy sends me every year from Hawaii. Do you think I could have it? Why, no, you can't have it. How would I open them coconuts? Um. Hey, I could have just gotten you Charlena's autograph, but instead I got you an autographed picture, which is way better. You owe me. Oh, okay, I'll let you have the pickaxe. After you do something for me. Like, like what? what? I got a bunch of taffy over there what needs sort. Just follow the directions that are <laughs> You would think any pickaxe would do. Then you're wrong. It has to be so this pickaxe. You wits about you. While you're doing that, I'll fetch that pickaxe. You've got, you a, got deal. a deal. There you go, Nance. Wax paper for the taffy. Would you mind if I took a piece of wax paper? Yes, I can let you have a piece. Alright. Um... Okay, so shit, it's gonna be fun with a pickaxe. Okay, I mean touchpad. You know, with a pickaxe. Um, wait. Shit, let me drop shit. <clears throat> Fucking apple. Um, it's a reject. Shit. <laughs> Nuts. This is really hard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it would be very difficult with a pickaxe. You can't argue with me. Uh, got mango. That's a reject. Blueberry. Uh. Okay, this is <laughs> shit. Damn it! <laughs> I just missed. I clicked too early. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. <laughs> Do you like that? I have to tell myself to stop doing things. in there. Taffy looks so good right now. Bunny. Oh yeah. I only got one wrong. I did it. Got that taffy sorted? No, no problem. problem. That, that was, was easy. easy. You sneak any freebies while you were at it? It was pretty tempting, but nope, I sure didn't. Well, ain't you the Yeah, I hadn't noticed the countdown before either, I don't think. Wouldn't have minded too I think I just do it whenever. As long as up to me. Or for how, as long as they make me. Crack the handle pretty bad on the last batch of coconuts. You sure you want it? You bitch. Positive. There you go. I guess maybe the uh, 
I insignia has you. something to do with it. Now that I'm thinking about it, we were making fun of her, but guys, I think there's a reason. Hello? Time to go be frank. I'm in the kitchen of the diner playing short order cook. <laughs> okay, why are you on the phone? Just to like know a veggie this lady is even older I than want he is. it. And get this. <clears throat> he's a retired miner, so every time I finish an order and ring the pickup bell, he thinks it's the mine shaft elevator bell. <laughs> and for some reason it makes him start telling his lady friend about his grandfather. Well, that's an interesting game mechanic. I mean, quirk. Exactly. Of course, five seconds later, he's rambling on about something totally unrelated, but I just fill an order, ring the bell, and ding, he picks up right where he left off. All right. That is, unless I fill the order wrong and the waitress chews me out. She's got a voice like a chainsaw. Very distracting. Sounds like you better keep your ears open and your nose to the grindstone. I am. Just wanted to keep you posted. <laughs> Thanks. I'm going soon. to be frank with you. Can I still be Nancy? <laughs> okay. Potato burger, onions, jalapenos, hot mustard, bacon, cheese. Okay. Hot mustard apparently was the one thing that I came. Uh, onions. Eh. Jalapenos. Bacon and cheese. Bacon. Cheese. Do you know what you want to order yet, Edna? Uh, That's tomato pickles, looking. mayo, ketchup. Did I tell you that my granddad was the engineer on a private train owned by one of the richest men that ever passed through Copper Gorge? Jake Hurley was his name. Yes, sir, my granddaddy was Jake's private engineer for more than 25 years. Told my daddy that men don't come any crazier than Jake Hurley, or any nicer. Treated my granddaddy real well and told him stuff. Real important stuff. Stuff he made my granddaddy swear to never ever forget. Stuff that my granddaddy told my daddy and that my daddy told me. Why don't you get the egg salad, Edna? Eggs are back to being good for you. Yes, sir, Jake Hurley told my granddaddy things he never told another living soul. Not even his wife. I tell you about her, Edna. I don't think so. Camille was her name. Camille Boulet. That's French, you know. Of course, she died so young that poor Jake didn't have time to tell her anything. According to my granddaddy, one summer day she had a dizzy spell and fell and hit her head. She didn't take well to the heat, see? And sometimes in the yeah, summer, when they were going through the desert, why, that train would be just like an oven. Anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, damn it. I thought I might have fucked it up. To my customer. Come on, new guy. Make me another and make it right. Or else. Jesus. Hard to think, let alone talk, when Sally goes off like that. I'm with you. Avocado, tomato, fruit, jelly, pineapple, cheese, mayo. Damn it! I could have sworn. I'm, apparently, I'm having a very hard time keeping track of this right now. Avocado, tomato, fruit jelly. Oh, I forgot tomato. That's what it was. Okay. See, why is it doing that? It doesn't even keep disappearing. Avocado jelly. Ugh. Pineapple cheese mayo. Pineapple. Pineapple. Cheese. Mayo. Okay, it's on there. Jesus, fuck. The way my granddaddy died, that was kind of strange, too. I ever tell you how my granddaddy died? No, I don't think you did. My daddy, he came home from school one day to find a railroad official telling his mom that granddad had been found dead in Blue Moon Canyon, Nevada. He was in the engine of Jake Hurley's train, just kind of slumped over with his hand still on the throttle. The strange thing is, Nobody else was on board the train, yet the door to the engine was locked and barred. It was like Granddad was trying to keep someone out, like he was running from something. Like something finally scared him so bad, his heart just stopped. Of course, he was in his 60s at the time, and back then, that was old. <laughs> Doesn't seem so old now, does it, Edna? Here I am, pushing 93, and still spry as a spring chicken. Stop spring disappearing. Chicken? Now, where do you suppose that expression came from? Look, what? Cook no. If I served this, my customer would throw a fit. This man 
Sorry. That cook better get on the stick, or we're all gonna. Oh, because I didn't have the jelly. God damn it. Oh, that's pickled herring. Ah, my bad. God damn, guys. Disgusting. I ever tell you about the mine my granddaddy said Jake Kirby chest found? Chest. He found a mine? A couple years before he died, granddad told my daddy that Jake found a vein in the mountains somewhere and was mining it all by himself so no one would steal it out from under him. He wouldn't even tell granddad where the mine was. What he'd do is have Granddad drive the train real slow so he could jump off without Granddad seeing him. Then Granddad would pick him up at a prearranged spot a few days later. Oh, they didn't call him Crazy Jake Curley for nothing. Speaking of crazy, you see how much... But the craziest thing Jake Curley ever did was tell Granddad the secret to finding his mind. What is he it? He made him swear to tell it to my daddy and nobody else. Eventually, my daddy, he told me... And it was so bizarre that I remember it to this day. Though I sure don't understand how it had helped anybody find his mind. But since my dad here didn't it is. tell me not to tell anybody, this is what crazy Jake Hurley told Granddad, word for word. The eye of the tiger is fixed on a star. Zircon lies in fingers that scar. Amethyst floats in a hand from the deep. Citrine is what the foul mouth shall keep. Tourmaline by a soft arm is ensnared. Paradox rests at the foot of the mare. The eye of the tiger is fixed on a star. Zircon lies in fingers that scar. Amethyst floats in a hand from the deep. Citrine is what the foul mouth shall keep. Tourmaline by a soft arm is ensnared. Paradox rests at the foot of the mare. Frank, are Shit. you sure that's what he said? I'm positive. <laughs> Are you sure that's all he said? Look, this guy was old, okay? I mean, we're talking Jurassic. And guys Hopefully that old don't note joke that, around. Not... They don't have time to. What you just heard is what I heard, word for word. Got anything else? I almost forgot. You gotta check this out. It's just an old letter, Frank. You bet it's an old letter. From Samuel Clemens. Oh my gosh. Where'd you get this? I found it in the caboose. Apparently, he and Jake were pen pals. Wish I had a famous writer for a pen pal. Oh, gotcha. When Joe gave it to me, I about flipped. I know I should turn it over to Lori, and I will, but it's just so darn cool. I still don't see what the big deal is. I mean, it's not like it's from Mark Twain or anything. <laughs> what? That's a random name to pull out of nowhere. If, <laughs> if you need anything, just let us know. He's clearly in on the joke. So, you got in your notes, Nancy? Okay. Decision. Now, keep tourmaline. Soft arm ensnared. Ah, sorry. Um, Peridot rests at the foot of the mare. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, sounds great. Oh, and you know what? And everybody's gone, so I can go steal shit and 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 stuff. Oh, I will go get that in a minute and be back. But first, I want to go through people's shit, like playing the piano. Finally.
Huzzah! A spyglass. I'll bet it's the one I need for Jake's projector. Man, this shit is just coming together. Can I not look at his shit? Why doesn't she want to get into this box? It's locked. I know, I know, and I want to get into it. Why won't this bitch let me get into it? It's locked. I got that it's locked, Nancy. Okay, um... So how many do I have then? One, two, three. Oh shit, four, five, six. Okay, so I've got all of them. That's neat. Let's make sure I know. <clears throat> okay. Amethyst will have it in that spot. And then. Citrine, uh, Tiger's Eye. Um. Zircon. Oh, hmm. Maybe. Um. Okay, that's what I thought. Zircon. Um. I should actually put them in the right order. Okay, so. Tiger's Eye. I'm sure I won't have an issue, but at the same time, I'm like, ah. I'm being prepared. And. Zero Con. I don't know why I'm doing this, actually. Never mind. Fuck me. Okay. <clears throat> Now this is the part I've always kind of had a little bit of trouble with, just because, um, 
Oh shoot, I can do the thing. Anyway. <clears throat> This goes here. This goes here, okay. although I don't Looks have like that goes there. Anything to put in it. Oops. This goes here. Okay, so star is tiger's eye. Oh, fingers a scar, so that would be zircon. The other one was definitely. Whoa, looks like I did something right. Let's do this, Nancy. Okay, I still need. There's still water in it, which means it must be out of carbide. Okay, carbide. Totally know where to get carbide. <gasps> oh no, what I need is some duct tape. Okay, let's find some duct tape, Nance. Oh, actually first, let's do this. Oh wait, I don't remember what the... Is 12 and the eagle is 2 oh you know what I'll bet you he has duct tape somewhere right what's up would you by any chance have any duct tape Got some right there in my gearbox. That's the good news. The bad news is, I can't open the box. People have it's so much trouble getting their boxes that I found open. in this abandoned monastery I scoped out on my show last year. You can open it with either the key, which I just discovered I forgot to bring with me, or the combination, which you're supposed to be able to figure out just by looking at the box. Fortunately, I didn't put anything critical in there. I've never tried to open it without the key, but if you want that duct tape, go ahead and give it a shot. Oh yeah, you're right. The where I find the thing. Thank you. <clears throat> Thanks. I think I will. If you get it open, the duct tape's all yours. Good. I bet the animals should start from the left shore.
Oh, oops. Okay. I did it wrong, clearly. Takes the cat. Leaves the cat. Comes back and gets the wolf. Leaves the wolf, brings the cat. Comes back and gets the bird. Leaves the bird and the wolf. Comes back and gets the cat. Has everybody. I could have sworn that's what I did last time, so I don't know what I did wrong. But it's fine. I've got duct tape now. Oops. What? I don't, I don't know what's happening. Oh, shoot. Knocked my mic <laughs> out. It should work now. There, good as new. Oh, sorta. Nothing happened. Hmm, this contraption is obviously powered by something. What? Sorry. Uh, apparently when I knocked over my microphone, I unplugged it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but it's back in. Okay. I've just been mumbling to myself. Y'all haven't missed anything. Uh, <laughs> okay. Make sure. Okay. So my problem is I need to be using five and getting 12, but I got that and not coming up as right. Okay. You guys can hear me now, right? Because it's showing up on OBS now. 
Hopefully that means you can hear me. Twelve, yeah. I don't... Hmm. Okay, good. Thank you guys for confirming. Because <laughs> otherwise I was like, I'm just going to do the rest of this in silence. I'm very close to finishing. I'm trying to figure out how I'm doing this wrong. Should I just try it the opposite way instead, maybe? Oh, I've opened that. Okay, well that's... That's definitely stayed open. Okay. Well, I can at least go do that. Thank you, Bagel. Thanks. I love you, too. Uh, yeah. No, I... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I tried... To, I did do the five slugs, and it didn't work. And that was my problem. For some reason, that's what you guys missed when uh, I went silent. Um, oops, not what I meant to do. Okay, so yeah, she was definitely way younger than him. As we suspected. Um, nope, come on, turn. There we go. More pipes. Oh, Why Jesus. am I not surprised? Okay, so that has to be there. Um, there. Oh, but that doesn't work that way, huh? There we go. You got it, Ariana. There, that looks right. Right, and now we go to Camille's tomb with the wax paper. What are you doing, Ariana? Wisdom, charity, purity, eternity. Back to the train. Pardon my noise for a minute. Go got the pencil and chewed it.
Oh wait, I'm sorry. Don't know where my brain went. it was in here. There's a book. Where's the book? Is it this book? Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Wait, what are the words again? Wisdom, charity, eternity, Purity. So purity is the harp. Um, eternity. No. No. Oh, there we go. Crown. Charity is the dove. And. Wisdom is the owl original. Okay. And what numbers do these correspond with? Jesus, this is a convoluted puzzle. Okay, so let's see. We've got a harp is three. Six is the crown. Dove, nine. Owl, seven. Okay. Seven nine six three. Oh wait. Six oops. And naturally, we have still more pipes. be there so there you go Ariana you got there that should do it I think that's all of them. Do you know what that means? Do you? Do you? I can turn on the steam. That, that's what it means. Jeez. Keep up. Come on. Sounds like steam from the engine is moving through those pipes now. Alrighty. Let's do it. To the caboose! No, wait. The penultimate train. The sub boost. I don't know, man. Um, the train gets even more stopped if you pull the brake in a stopped train. <laughs> Come on. This is like elementary stuff. guys. I'm really excited. And we have lift up.
This is some trippy shit. <laughs> rave going on. Oh, right, a dance party. I'm sorry, I don't know what's wrong here right now. Like I said, they really cared about the animation in this game, and I love it. Right there. Brimstone Canyon. That's where Jake's mine is. Brimstone Canyon. Don't okay, I guess we're gonna go excited. talk to her. What's up? I think I know where Jake's mine is. Tell the engineer to head for a place in Nevada called Brimstone Canyon. Way to go. I knew you could do it, Francie. Not Francie, <laughs> Nancy. Here's the deal. She's a Francie shipper. There, I'm going to make sure that you get to be the first one to check out the mine. I'll call everyone together in the dining car. And while we're in there, you slip off the train. Will 10 minutes be enough of a head start? You don't have to give me a head start. Think of it as your reward. Of course, anything you find in the mine is, well, mine. So if I find out that you've taken something without oh, telling me... Don't worry. You can trust me. Ugly. Don't worry. You can trust me. I have the feeling that thanks to you, we are about to discover something huge. Great job, Amy. Uh, thank you. <laughs> All aboard. I love traveling by map. Like the train's leaving. Where's it going? Wait! Well, Frank and Joe will make sure it comes back for me. I hope. gotta be the entrance to Jake's mine, but it's totally blocked by boulders. I'm really tired of this last one I try business. Dangerous, Nancy. You really should have gotten behind this little corner here. All right, this is the entrance to Jake's mine. Bomb diddles. Wow, what's going on here? Okay. Jake's color wheel seems okay. to be pointing toward purple. Wow, glowing lizards. Cool, but weird. And then red. Yellow. Purple. Down, I guess. I'm assuming I go down into the mine. Easy <laughs> trip the mystery of hearing loss. Alright. The orange. It's the first one I've noticed. Hmm. Oops, I think I went the wrong way. Ugh, 
Okay, well, so the snaky one. The sieve. Uh-oh, there's some kind of chamber on the other side of those poles. But if I move okay. the wrong one, the ceiling will collapse. Jake was too meticulous not to have left a clue somewhere as to how you're supposed to move them. Okay, I've totally missed them, but that's okay. doing there um, um. Going to be honest, um See I didn't even like Okay, well there's that. Another symbol. Um. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm honestly a hair's breadth from just killing Nancy a bunch. Um, if I'm being perfectly honest here. Okay. Seen that symbol before? Yeah, me too, Nui. Okay, so far so good. I know that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, I did it in the wrong order. That's okay. okay. So that's what I was testing for. I'm just. Okay, so far so good. All right, and then um. Nuts. Fun killing Nancy, guys. If you're playing okay, the drinking so game, so far then... so good. Nuts. Okay. Really not sure what's going on then. No. Okay, it's fine. It's just my computer. The game didn't try to crash on me. Um... I think I made a boo boo. Ugh. I have not seen any of these other ones. I think I made. Nuts. I think. I I don't understand. I think I made a- Because I already tried the fucking uh -oh. J, which is the only one that I've actually seen of these ones. Uh-oh. I think I made a- <laughs> Nuts. If you thought I wasn't gonna do this, you're insane. Nuts. I think I <laughs> Are you guys having as so much fun as I am? Just me. I should be able to get through there now. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's upsetting. Jake Hurley, I presume?
Fine, I'll save. Jesus Christ, you guys. Calm down. Calm up Camille. It figures he'd be carrying a oh. picture of her. I thought it was a blotch. Hmm, I didn't something think it was underneath it. To Jake Hurley, postmaster. Looks friends. like a letter. April 14, 1865. <sighs> dear Jake. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, private train. Uh, wait, President of the United States. You guys. Your humble friend, Abe. Tonight, at her insistence, I will be accompanying her to Ford Theater to see a comedy called Our American Cousin. Have you seen it? Uh... Oh my gosh! This is from Abraham Lincoln! And April 14th is the day he was assassinated! This letter <laughs> must be worth a fortune! That's just what I thought, too! See, what I didn't tell you when I gave you that letter Jake wrote to Ruth is that I also found his diary, which is how I found out he'd gotten to be friends with President Lincoln, and that he'd gotten a letter from Abe that he knew would be so valuable someday that he always kept it on his person. Can I have it? Sure. See, I knew if we could just find Jake's body, we'd find the letter. And you did it, Amy. You did it. I'm going to be famous. Good famous for once. <laughs> So you never really cared about finding Jake's mine? Nah. I mean, it would have been nice if it was filled with gold and silver and stuff. But this is what I was really after. And you followed me because you didn't trust me? I trusted you to find it. Beck Starling, I'm ignoring your you jokes in the chat. chat. <laughs> and now that you have, you know, I'd really, really be famous if I could say I found this all by myself. But even if I got you to lie for me, how do I know you'd keep lying? <laughs> oh my gosh. What if there was like this cave-in and we were trapped, but I was the only one who made it out? Uh, excuse me? <laughs> oh my gosh. That way I could not only say that I found the letter, but that I tried to save you. Only you did something stupid, and it was all I could do to save myself. Oh my gosh, I'd make the national news for sure. And people would say it was smart and resourceful and courageous even. Lori, you can't be serious. That's crazy. You don't understand. People are finally going to respect me. I have to do this. Sorry. Well, the opening's blocked. Time to I'm die. <laughs> now, how am I gonna get out of here? You die, Nancy. Maybe I could get out of here in this. I don't know how this is working and I don't care. Like I said, the animators really took pride in this game. Oh, that was so scary. Well, broke her leg. Oh, she's fine. Lori, are you all right? Nancy, is everything okay? It is now. 
As soon as we discovered you and Lori weren't on the train, we jumped off and hightailed it back here. What the heck's going on? I'm sure Lori will be glad to tell you all about it. Darn you, Natalie! It's Nancy. Dear Hannah, some host as Lori Gerard turned out to be. <laughs> when her father heard that she'd tried to seal me Why up are you in writing mind, her? He I mean, you should be going home now, shouldn't you? He said that from now on, Lori will have to support herself. She has yet to stop crying. I like how you say that, like, you support yourself, Nancy. He knew what Lori was up to all along and said he let Frank, Joe, and me solve the case so we amateurs could enjoy his limelight. Joe was just about to belt him when a big argument broke out between John Gray and Charlena over whether John had really recorded Camille's ghost. She started calling him a crackpot, and then he started calling her a hack. Then, well, let's just say that soon the press was no longer interested in what Tino had to say. <laughs> but I kept snapping really photographs, gosh that darn it. letter from Abe Lincoln is worth a small fortune. Pretty ironic, huh? She looked like uh, Marina Baccarin. Life searching for gold. Did anybody notice and that? Along, he possessed something far more valuable. His uncanny knack <laughs> for making friends. Love, Nancy. His uncanny knack for making friends. What did I get? Let me guess. You did the bare minimum. Title of. For being such a whiz when it comes to dancing. Oh, all right. Because I did it right the first time. Have you ever been to Paris, France? Why, We're yes, at Paris, oh. because that's where my next mystery adventure takes place. I'm going to be the assistant to Minette, a famous fashion designer. I'll be working undercover to find out. I'll be playing that game in uh, uh, Senior Detective. We'll see what people. happens. She's even started wearing a mask for no apparent reason. Her studio is in this spooky-looking centuries-old Moulin. That's Moulin. Right the window. Of course, that doesn't have anything to do with her strange behavior. Does it? One way to find out. Help me solve my next Make it look case. like she's in Change this place in the middle design. of a field. A la prochaine. Alright. So. That was Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon. That was... <laughs> awesome. Okay. Um, so hopefully the extra, like, 40 minutes tonight made up for the awful, like, 40 minutes of microphone despair yesterday um so yeah that's the game uh, reese is starting kathy rain tomorrow <laughs> um but yeah so um reese is gonna stream tomorrow and then um saturday we are recording our podcast so come see us stream the podcast and you know stuff um what else i think that's it i think that's pretty much it um i'm gonna go take my bath now uh i'll see you guys later bye